They're all very into birds. <laughs> USA! <laughs> Panda everything in Chengdu. Everything is panda themed. And you see these kinds of stands all over the city. My name is Taylor. I go to American University. I'm originally from New York City, and I'm here at Sichuan University studying law and disability studies. My youngest sister was born with Down syndrome, and uh, when she was very little, it required her to have open heart surgery, and she's had a lot of medical complications since. And it's been through watching her grow up and watching her interact with the system in America that got me so interested in the system itself and got me involved in the disability community. And it wasn't until I got to college, actually, that I started to identify as disabled myself. So I am a student with a myriad of learning disabilities. And that was always something that I hid and something that I didn't want to talk about because I was ashamed. Upon coming to college, I discovered that there is a community and that you can positively identify as being disabled. And I've come to recognize disability as a source from which I can derive pride and empowerment. Through my internship with the Chengdu Disabled Person Federation, every week we go and we visit a different community or a different element of the disability community here in Chengdu. And being able to talk to people with disabilities and the families of people with disabilities here in China and tell them ab about this positive interaction with the disability community in America has been a really great experience for me and my personal growth. When Americans think of Chinese people, they think of this, this very rigid stereotype. And having come to Chengdu, every perception I had about China, it turns out to be completely wrong. And when I talk to the people in Chengdu, it just seems so obvious and apparent to me that they're just so willing to, to learn culturally and to have this exchange and this dialogue that I didn't think I would have when coming to China. And just to be able to talk about our cultural differences and the differences within our lifestyles has been a really great learning experience for me and has really helped me to grow as both a student and as both a future lawyer. I think it's important for people to come to China now because China's at a point in its history in which you can just tell that it's on the brink of something great and it's just about to explode. And you can tell that this city is finding its identity and finding its path and to be able to be a part of that and to be able to visually see the growth within this city. In my 15 minute walk from my dorm room to my classroom, I've seen buildings go up, I've seen buildings come down within two weeks, within a day even, that we've seen just such gross and immense change that I'm so happy to be a part of that. I found my China by interacting and making friends with the local people of Chengdu. Come find your China. <laughs>